Nine months went by fast. Guys, I'm about to do something I've never done before. Go outside. Lately, a hot topic has been those eco ATM machines at Walmarts or malls or anywhere like that. You walk up to it, you give the machine some information about your phone, plug your phone in, it does a little bit of testing, and then it spits out a price of what it'll give you cash back for your phone. This way you get immediate cash, you don't have to put it on Craigslist, and you don't have to sell it on eBay and have all the fees. The reason why they are so talked about lately is because people think they don't give you enough money for your phone. But this isn't really uncommon because if you were to go to Best Buy or any place that does trade-ins, they're going to give you a really low amount so they still make profit. But sometimes it's so low, it's not even worth an immediate payment. Kind of like this video. Recently, a YouTuber that goes by TechSmart uploaded a video of him taking an iPhone X over to one of the Eco ATM machines, plugging it in to see how much it would give him for the brand new $1,200 iPhone X. First, he put in a clone or fake iPhone X that runs Android just to see what it would do if he could maybe trick the machine. Then he followed by putting the legitimate iPhone X inside the machine. After a little bit of waiting, it said the iPhone X has no resale value. It also says it's an Acatel One Touch, not even an iOS device. Seems kind of weird. Now, I don't think this video is fake, but a lot of people do, considering he also just let the machine keep the phone and recycled it and didn't get anything out of it. A lot of the comments are thinking that he canceled the transaction, took the phone back, replaced it with an Acatel One Touch, which can be bought at Walmart, said the phone had no resale value, and then he recycled that. But why would he do this in the first place? Well, there are a couple reasons. Maybe it offered such a low amount that he didn't want to recycle it at all, but the premise of the video was just to see how much it would give him. Or maybe it was fake and it was just to stir up controversy that he recycled an iPhone X, but he really didn't, and he did replace it with the Ecotel One Touch. But maybe this video is 100% real and the machine just isn't updated enough to know anything about the iPhone X. But it still doesn't make sense how it mistaked an iOS device for an Android, let alone a $20 Android. Well, what else is this channel here for? Let's go figure out if it was real. I have a clone iPhone X right here just to recreate the whole entire video. This is just a Android. It's running Android 6.0, I believe. So it's not real, but it does have the lightning charging port. So we'll see what it says about that. Then I have found an iPhone X on Craigslist. So we're going to go pick that up right now. And we'll see you at the Eco ATM. A few moments later. Alrighty, guys. We got both of the iPhones. We got the clone here. And then we got the legitimate iPhone X right here. So we're going to go to the Eco ATM at this mall and see what we can get. Here we go. And I told you I was going outside. Alrighty guys, we just got to the Eco ATM machine. We're going to put in the iPhone X clone and then the legitimate iPhone X to see what we can get from it and see if the same thing happens like in TechSmart's video. If it says the iPhone X has no resale value and if it's an Acatel One Touch, an Android phone. This is gonna be really interesting. So we're gonna touch here to begin. First, we have the knockoff fake iPhone X. This is the Chinese one, well I guess all Apple phones are made in China, but this one is from Beijing. It's a complete knockoff. It is not real at all. It's running Android 6.0. Um, as you can see, it says Beijing. Uh, it has a really laggy screen. There's no notch in it. It's completely non-Apple. There's not even the swipe home button thing. It's got the little Android home button right there. Everything is really, really laggy. It is not very good. So this is the non-legitimate Apple iPhone. We're going to go to the main menu, sell your device. This is exactly what TechSmart did. We're going to go to I agree. Skip, I don't want to do anything like this. We're going to say it's an Apple iPhone, just like he did. We're going to go to Unlocked, because it is unlocked. Flawless, this thing's brand new. We're going to go Done, it's a Lightning. Peel off stickers, everything looks good. We're going to go, it's ready. Okay, he printed out the label. So this is it, we're going to peel this off. Put it up here. We're stick it to the back of the iPhone X clone. Okay, it's attached. It works fine, everything seems good. So now he's going to open up this little test compartment. He's opening up the test compartment. Here is the iPhone um, lightning cable right here. I'm going to pull it right out. Plug it right in. Okay, it says connected. Set it right down. Trust this computer. He's checking the phone to make sure it's working. Everything seems good. The software seems good. So TechSmart said his was a Galaxy S7. Uh, the machine thought that's what it was, so we're just going to do the same thing and see what it says. I need to communicate with your phone to be able to get you an accurate appraisal. <laughs> Alright, close door. This is the clone iPhone X once again, door is closing. Alright, here it goes, let's see what he says. Evaluating the clone iPhone X. Alrighty guys, we're gonna speed this up. It's actually going super quick.
80% done. Ninety-five percent done. Here it comes. We're gonna see what it says about the clone iPhone X. There goes hundred percent. No resale value. HTC Desire six ten or six twelve. Condition good, suitable for recycle. Yep. So it knows it's not an iPhone X. That's what I was expecting. Just like TechSmart's video. So we're gonna return my device. I do want it. Uh, yes, we want to quit. We do not want to donate the iPhone X. All right, so the clone iPhone X, like I assume, has no resale value. This is just running on Android. It isn't an uh, S7 Edge, though, like TechSmart, so that's interesting. It's an HTC. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to grab the legitimate iPhone X right here. So this is the real Apple iPhone X, as you can see. Um, I haven't connected to the internet yet. There's no SIM card in it, so I'm not going to really worry about anything like that. But this is the legitimate iPhone X. You can tap, and it'll zoom in with the dual cameras. It is not the fake. You can see dual cameras right here. Everything is 110% legitimate. I bought this on Craigslist for 900 bucks. Tap here to begin. We're gonna say sell your device. I agree. Skip. Apple iPhone, that's what it is. We're gonna go for unlocked. Flawless, I just bought it. It's completely brand new. A lightning connector. Um, it's ready, stickers are all peeled off. And here's the label we get, just like the clone. Flip it around. Perfect. It's attached. So the compartment's going to lift up again, and we're going to put the flawless brand new Apple iPhone X inside. All right, screen's unlocked. Put it right in. It'll do trust this computer. There it goes. So here it goes. Let's see what it gives me. All right, close door. Looks good. All right, there it goes. Let's see what it says it'll give me for the iPhone X. Okay, we'll just go through these again. It should take a couple minutes only. Okay, I'll use it right Seventy-five percent. The average cell phone user checks Facebook and their personal email. Unfortunately, your device is too new for me to buy. Your phone is too new for me to buy. That sure is a shiny new, shiny new phone. Unfortunately, because it is so new, I won't be able to properly appraise it yet. This is really interesting, guys. This, it, the iPhone X, it says it's too new to buy. TechSmart's video said that it was an Acatel One Touch, an Android phone, like I was saying, and that there's no resale value. I think he might have put an Acatel One Touch in there and then donated that to the machine. That's 100% possible. It says it's not even, it's not even gonna let me recycle it. It just, it spits it out. It lets me keep it. I can't, I don't even have the, the choice to, to give it back. Alrighty, guys. So that proves pretty interesting. I really thought that it might have glitched out and maybe said it was an Acatel One Touch, but it really seems like they updated the machines pretty quickly and they know that the iPhone X is too new to even do anything with. They can't even take it. Because I tried, I looked for anything, nothing said recycle on the screen. It would not let me even recycle it to the machine for free. There is a possibility that, that TechSmart went to Walmart it didn't work, so he bought an Acatel One Touch, cut, put that inside the Eco ATM, then recycled the Acatel One Touch. Maybe his machine glitched out, there's always the possibility, but this is pretty interesting. If anything, I guess you could be happy he didn't really recycle an iPhone X that's $1,200 retail. But really, if you do think about it this way, iOS and Android are two completely different operating systems, and if you plug in a lightning charger to a legitimate iOS device, I don't see how I could mistake that for a $20 Android. If you do want to watch TechSmart's full video, I'll put a link right here, a uh, little bit end card, and there'll also be a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, and I will see you next time.